Meow. Wait, so you're saying I could kill a mammoth with my piss? Oh, you really are as stupid as they say, aren't you, Finn? God, oh, fuck you, Cotter. Garrett, let's go! <laughs> How's it going, everyone? My name is Swain Point, and welcome to another episode of Game of Thrones, Episode 3. And in this part, we start off talking with Dunkel. He came to the wall to meet up with Garrett to see what was up and, you know, give him a little bit of something-something to work on. And you guys will see what I'm talking about. Let me know if you guys like these longer episodes. I'm doing about, about a half hour an episode, so I could really use your feedback. If you guys like that, please let me know. But other than that, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. I'm glad I caught you. What brings you here? A business with a Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. Nice! That settles it then? Do we even have ironwood right, anymore? The delivery looks in order. Dude came in, swooped through, he's like, It's all mine! I eat donuts, I'm sure what you. The gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. You look good too, I told buddy. You're a ranger now. Yep. You That's told me good. to. Uncle? What's wrong? Things aren't going well at Iron Wrath, Garrett. No, I'm a I giant. I, I messed it all up. I heard the news about Ethan. It's worse! I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. It's but okay. But there is nothing, if not resilient. How can Our I house, help? I survived for centuries. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Iron Wrath. That's why I'm really here. Oh. What do you want me to do? You gonna, you gonna steal me? Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Yeah. I'm not supposed to talk about him except with Just you. Just before he died. Yeah. Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. Yeah, protect the North Grove. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. What? what? I've been reading his <laughs> journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. Ooh. That'd be cool, I think. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. Ooh. One filled with great power. Ooh. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. Do you believe what do it? What do you think, Uncle? Is it real? Of course it's I real. I have no doubt. It's clear Lord Forrester spent a great deal of time studying the North Grove. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Cool. Somewhere on the other side of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. Do what I can. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. You're a tuttle. And the Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. I'm sure as there's a I. way. It can't be too hard to get north of the wall. I'm sure there's a way. What about my vows? I probably should have said that. That shouldn't be a problem. Really? How am I supposed to find the it? The first chance you get to head north... Take it. Okay. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind. And strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. That'd be desertion! Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. Whoa. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. Wow, thanks. Way to hang me out to dry. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. His strongbox? Is that where you kept it? Underneath the bus you just ran me over with? Jesus! What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. I. You want me to? You want me to observe this? Oh, so here's the creepy tree. Okay. Here's the creepy tree. The wirewood trees, so North Grove, Castle Ruins, beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. What? You have an Ice Dragon around here? Marking. There's all sorts of funny stuff on here. Let's look at the mammoth. A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. That's all you had to say about that? Let's look read it. Ice Dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. Love? You you sick? Why would you love to see that? Huh? What am I what am I missing here, Garrett? This looks familiar. It's what the, is it, Garrett? Isn't that the, the, the Talia gave me this? Oh. Before I left. <gasps> oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. 
I wonder. I wonder. What do you? Am I, am I supposed to? Am I supposed to touch something? What? Examine. Look, there's a clasp. Ooh. It must open. Yeah. Okay. Let's open it. <laughs> I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Let's try it, I think. Well, let's just put it on your face. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. How is that? How is that telling me anything? Maybe. Yeah? What? Oh. What? It's the whole map that has to turn. Wait, what? Aye. Aye. <laughs> I Werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. Glad you There's get only it. One way to find out. Here, take this map. All I know is I, I saw a creepy tree here. with a mouth. May well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Uh, I can't break my Uncle. vows. I can't break my vows. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't. I understand your reluctance. When you left Ironrath, you said you'd serve with honor. Oh, more vows. You already have. It's like a contract. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Thanks, Dunkle. Let's go, got it. Okay, I told you I can't do it. Am I just gonna do it? Is that what that was? Is that him going, oh, you're a pussy, but you're gonna do it anyway? Is that what just happened? Probably like little, little shards or what? something. Well, shards are what? Wait, so I'll not to never what? lift one of those again. Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. What and if it froze on the way down the wall? It probably it'd break up into little icy bits. Be moving uh, pretty fast too, wouldn't it? <laughs> I suppose. Wait, so you're saying I could kill a mammoth with my piss? You really are as stupid as they say, aren't you, Finn? God, fuck you, Cutter. Carrot, let's go! <laughs> I can't listen to you two! <laughs> well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. He's my Someone uncle. said it was your uncle looking for you. It was my what uncle. What did he want? Looked oh. like you two had a lot to talk about. He was... Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's visiting. He happened to be nearby. That's a lie. Thought he'd say hello. That's a stupid this lie. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. He loves me. It looked like he gave you something. Nothing. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. I want to go piss on some mammoths, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> what kind of conversation is that? I could kill a mammoth with my piss. <laughs> Well, I mean, you gotta you gotta have something to do for fun around here, killing elephants with your pee. I mean, my weenie could conquer the world. Hey, we're back here. Cool. There are so many guests already arriving. Yep. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. So pretty. So me and her were causing trouble last time, weren't we? We were you like know, drinking wine of Cersei's. That's not good. She is. Who? Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. This is true. Is that the Where is that this wedding that I keep hearing able about? To see everyone, and everyone will be able to see us. It's Marjorie's Sarah, day. It Marjorie's day, not ours. Get over yourself, girl. I, I know. I, I didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, you did. I want to be queen. To say I remember what you. I told you about my family. You're a it bastard. Means a lot to be able to share <laughs> that with someone. Someone I can trust. Love you too. Uh, my trust doesn't come free. We have to stick together. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Are you my friend now? Thank you, Mira. Yes! And you know I'll always help you too. Said the right words. Hold on, look. I'm feeling Sorry. manipulative. Lord feeling Morgren? Good. No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. He looks old. You have the hats for him? I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. Some 40-year-old dude? I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you 
Make an excuse for me? Ah. Uh, da. Please. Da. Do you think that's wise? I'm not asking for much. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Of course she does. Oh, she does Audrey's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. Ah! Why? Why? Why you gotta make drama like that? You better bang his 40-year-old wiener. Or whatever you need to do, whatever. What's up, boy? Oh, yeah, let's go to him. Hi. Hi! What's up? What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here. But? But we have to talk. About what? You okay? Are you alright? Of course I'm he's fine. fine. Thank you. You're welcome. I just needed to warn you. About what? I saved your life. Don't screw me over. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Oh, no, what? I think if I close my eyes, they can't see me. They already know Work. he's missing. Probably dead. Crap! They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Did you get rid of the body? It's not safe. Do they have proof? For either of us. Do they have they proof? They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? I don't know. They found blood on the garden stones by the fountain. Blah! But they can't know it's his. Good. No one will know what you did. Yes! What'd you do with the guy? What? What? What is it? What's with your face? Uh, if we're gonna survive uh, this. Uh, there can't uh, be any details uh, we've overlooked. Uh, the knife. I, I still have his knife. I still have his knife. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Just um, keep it hidden. Buried in the flowers. Clean the blood off it. I clean the blood. Just stay out of sight. Could you take it, please? How? Do you forget who I serve? Oh, Marjorie. Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll, I'll watch your back. Thanks. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? Why are you helping me? Because I saved your what life. What do you mean? Uh. I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. We help each other, or it's both our heads. I owe you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. Thanks for letting me and know again. Mira. What? What do you want? My lady. What do you want? Don't give me that look. I was talking. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Thank you for saving you're me? you're trying to keep it secret. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Oh, Come crap! On. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. I don't you trust this Sarah chick, this man. Lord Tarwick on the way. Well. I do not trust her at all. First of all, his name's Garibald. And, and he has this really funny accent. And his really bald he told head. Me the cleverest story about this festival they have. About his kids that are as old as you? He looks so old, didn't he? He looked like. And he... I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. Was this Cersei? I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere. I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Cool. Your Grace. My lady. Which reminds me. Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. Okay. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. Ouch! <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to grace. speak out of turn, girl... I... Well, do as you, you command! finish what you start. We do as you command, your grace. And we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. Why are you such a I asked your handmaiden bitch. here at the Iron Throne... Whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, you look at her face. For my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything. Or anything. But I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. Get over and yourself. Their place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Oh. Oh. 
She knows. Uh oh. Marjorie's like, what does what that did mean? She mean by that? Yep. <laughs> you and Tyrion. What? <laughs> what you do reflects on me. Tyrion? If something's going on, I need to know about Tyrion, it. Tyrion, Tyrion, he offered to help my family. He did. Then surely he expects something in return. Oh. Sarah, what do you know of this? Nothing. Tyrion approached us, my lady. What? It was his idea, not Mira's. Yeah. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. <laughs> I've only ever tried to help you. <laughs> Why are you making trouble for me? I'm not trying. I didn't think about it. My family's desperate. Please. My family needs me. We're losing everything. Does that work? I have to do whatever I can to help them. Yeah. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But you just but don't your care? your problems are not the only ones in the world. That's what it right is. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. Ouch. Wow. How did I get here? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. I lied. Please don't send me home. That's a this lie. This can't happen again. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm a big liar face. That's what I'm doing. I'm being a thief. I'm being a liar. I'm being a manipulator. I gotta... I gotta push my way through this world. I can't be a nice guy. At least I'm just you guys keep telling me. Anytime I'm a nice guy. You giant pansy girl pair of balls, swing point! So, I'm going some balls. My balls are quite large now. Do you feel them? Roderick Forrester, Iron Wrath. Speaking of balls, man, this guy's tough. You can see a ball's bulging out of his pants. Did you take a look? I saw it. Roderick, Pervert. it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. What do you want me to do about it? I have They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. What are they doing? They want to see us cower what in our own house. What are they doing? What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the court. Duncan's He's not, not here. He's not from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. There we go! I... What do you want me to do about this? Um... Awkward! Are you sitting there making noise just to be annoying? I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I'm gonna what be a man this? here. I'm it's gonna be the manliest man ever. My way. You ready? You're, it's gonna be so manly that you're gonna grow balls too. Even if you're a girl. It feels weird, trust me. It's coming, though. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was helpful. Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. You're ugly. More ugly than me, and I got scars on my face. Respect to Griff Whitehill. Fourth born son of Lord Lud Whitehill Lord and Martin. commander of this garrison. He's a baby. Oh, we're gonna win a bye bye. Fourth Cocky born. Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. My prick? Is that now my dick? Now look at you. Hey! Roderick the Ruin. Somebody's jealous. I recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? Enough of this <laughs> show, man. Pathetic. Manly. Enough of this, Griff. Look at how much what man I am. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Gets Brother what? Ethan didn't get it either. Whoa! Bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. Get over yourself. So my men are taking over your great hall. Get a haircut. That's where we'll quarter from now on. No. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how forest. You'll sleep. stay where I tell you. Balls, yeah. yeah. Mm. Quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. Fuck and you. And once more, you will treat hey, my men go. right. Nope. I've heard what you've done. Pushing wine on them. Turning what? them into drunkards. What? That ends now. I didn't do I'm anything. I'm not here to keep them in line. 
I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? You can go home! If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. Roar. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. Nope. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton. Whoever that is. Warden of the North. What a noob. So I will be in your halls. More like noob Bolton. I will be <laughs> in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody won't please. I'll sit on you your can't balls. can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever you You will do as I say, because I am a man. You're mad, Roar. Riff. This is my house, and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Because it's a pointy now, stick I have in my hand. Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your Just kiss him, Roderick. Stop me. Just kiss him. That'll make him back off real quick. Give him some tongue. No. Oh, he'll never mess with you again. You know better than that. Oh! That's what'll happen. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Stop Roderick! That. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Wow, that worked. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. This is what being manly gets me. Nothing. Thanks, guys. I listened. It does nothing. Nothing. It appeases the, the commenters. That's what it does. I have tried to be manly, and I have failed. I am back to being Brief a pussy. <laughs> Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. I tried. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. Asher's gonna come I here and go nuts. Trying to stop <laughs> my lord. But this occupation will break our people if he drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. I know how bad but it is. He's the cock and we are in his roost. I'm no fool. I've seen the soldiers in our halls. And Whitehill's runt is at the front of the pack. So don't act as if I don't know how bad it is. Of course not, my lord. Yeah. Now what? But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. He's in the middle. I understand math. Bay of Ice. We need to look at all the pieces. Okay. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. Okay. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. Ah! Crap. Forgot about that. Is that Ryan? The little guy right there? <laughs> Ryan doesn't have a beard, so it's kind of messing he me up. He carved these soldiers himself. Oh, that's what it is. Ramsey Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? This is true. So, do we calm our tits then in order to keep Ryan alive? I forsake his safety. Ah! Damn it, Mommy. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Oh, like I know. You want me to make a choice? Great. Great! Great! Expel Griff! Save Ryan. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I hate choices! So if I expel Griff, that's maybe gonna kill Ryan. And there's just gonna be some other douchebag that comes rolling in. But, maybe not. Maybe that'll stop douchebags from coming in. Cause I'm tough, and I can expel people. Probably not. If I save Ryan, my people are going to be crushed, demoralized, and they'll think we're pansies and we're all just gonna fall over and die. And Ryan might die anyway. Great. I'll just try to save Ryan. Ah, uh, I gotta protect Get your family, Ryan right? And bring him home. Once That's he's safe. You can face the White Hills head on. Right? And what of Griff and his men? I don't know. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Would you let Ryan die? Speak true. Would you just let Ryan die? Guilt trip. No, my lord. Guilt trip. Good trip. Roderick is right. Good we trip. are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Good trip. Then it's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. <laughs> How? We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. Right? We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Crap. Unfortunately, 
Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmore. I know. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened Selsor. Asher's my only chance but right not now. Bannerman. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. I messed that we up don't too. don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. We may I not don't have think a choice. Lord will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. Thanks, Dunkel. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare, and men to train. Let's do it, my lord. This sucks. Mira messed up. Or, okay, I messed up with everything, but with Mira, she's not getting anything from Tyrion. Not getting Roderick married with Sir Chick, Miss Chick. My lord. Asher's our only shot. Asher's doing good. Now. A voice from High Poet, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter. The very same. After the hells that came from her and Asher. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. Wait, what? White Hill? I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Set the meeting? I understand your hesitation. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. Sure. I believe she can be trusted. But best use caution nonetheless. Yes, sir. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. This sucks. Handle Everything things sucks. right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point. Let's do it. When the time comes. I thought White Hills hated us. Who loves me anymore? I don't even know. That's all we got time for now, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. It would really mean a lot. But aside from that, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Meow. Meow. Have fun with that. What about that seemed like a good idea? Yeah. How's it going everyone? My name is Swingpoint and welcome to Game of Thrones Episode 3. Alright, this is a really good episode. I'm super excited to see what happens. I think some people are gonna die.